We're going to turn now to a big new campaign from Coca-Cola. They're taking the debate over artificial sweeteners head-on, with new ads promoting no-cow sweeteners as a healthy alternative to sugar. ABC's Rebecca Jarvis here with more on that. And, Rebecca, I guess Diet Coke's been declining in sales, so Coke's fighting back. Exactly. And this is a bit of an unusual way of doing it, George. Good morning. The new ads look more like public service announcements than the flashy marketing campaigns that we're accustomed to. But make no mistake, these are part of a concerted effort by Coca-Cola to bring consumers back to diet drinks. It's not your typical diet drink ad. No ice speckled cans of soda glistening in the sun. No celebrities or flashy taglines. Instead, the world's number one beverage company, Coca Cola, this morning rolling out full page ads touting the idea that diet drinks can help people manage their weight. The ads cite scientific studies, 200 over the last 40 years. The company says supporting the safety of aspartame, the artificial sweetener used in the the Diet Coke. Coke is getting out in front of this, they're getting proactive. They're defending aspartame, which is the biggest diet sweetener used in the U.S. and is used in their biggest diet product. But Coca-Cola isn't just playing defense. Today, we'd like people to come together on something that concerns all of us, obesity. Earlier this year, the company rolling out a two-minute commercial in the wake of a national debate about serving sizes, childhood obesity, and public health. And if you eat and drink more calories than you burn off, you'll gain weight. But now it may be the health of Coke and its competition on the line. Sales of soda have been dropping most of the last decade, with diet drinks falling even faster. Just last year, Diet Coke down 3%. Diet Pepsi down twice that. For decades, consumers in the U.S. basically had one choice, and that was carbonated soft drinks. But in recent years, teas have come on strongly, bottled water, sports drinks have gotten very popular. Coke hoping to remind consumers this morning, even with all those alternatives, nothing beats the real thing. And Coke isn't just defending aspartame. Along with its rival Pepsi, both companies are working to come up with a drink that uses natural, low-calorie sweeteners. George and Lara, they're trying to defend themselves here against a totally different market. Things have changed. There yeah. are more options. People are going organic. They're going all natural. And Coca-Cola and Pepsi are having to catch up and play some catch-up here. We want to yep. get that market share back. Okay, Rebecca, thanks very much.